Hey guys, it's Scott with Everyday Home Repairs and today I'm going to be filling in the screw holes that were left in the fiberglass tub surround after we removed a glass door and metal rail combo. So what I'm going to use is I picked up off Amazon uh, DevCon kit. This works on fiberglass, porcelain, and then also plastic. Why specifically I picked this one out is you can see it's it works on white and also almond. So this surround is almond. So it has a small additive that you can mix in with it. Uh, first, I'm gonna go through the contents of the kit and kind of walk through that and then also some additional things that I picked up to help. Uh, if you already got a handle on that, look down in the description. One, you'll see links uh, to all the stuff that I had purchased, all the, all the different materials I purchased for the job. But two, I also put the timestamp where I actually start to apply it and then uh, sand it down and get, uh, get it to kind of a finished look. So stay tuned and we'll jump in. Okay, so I'm gonna show you the contents here of the DevCon kit and what you'll be dealing with. So you'll have the pack with the two-part epoxy uh, this is what you're going to push uh, the lower half up, it breaks the seal, and then that's what you're going to mix together. If you have an almond tub surround, like I do, here's the almond additive. If you have a white one, you do not need to use that, and you can discard. If you have a larger hole or crack, they do provide you a sheet of fibers here, uh, which you'll use to actually make sure the repair is structurally sound. I just have small holes, so I will not be using uh, that in this uh, instance. And then uh, one small sheet of 80 grit sandpaper and a small application brush. Now, do not throw the container away. This uh, is perfect for mixing up the epoxy and then using it to hold the epoxy while you apply it. Uh, to your the cracks or in my instance the screw holes To do this correctly, you're going to need more uh, than that. So other things that I have You might say why Would you have a one gallon Ziploc bag? I took the Ziploc bag and I cut it into small sheets You will see why I have this uh, once I start applying it really helps to get all the air pockets out and then hopefully give you a better finish and reduce the amount of sanding. I got additional uh, 60 grit sandpaper. I then have 320 sandpaper and I will finish off with kind of a wet sand on a 600 grit sandpaper. I got a few toothpicks as well. I have uh, very small sc screw holes I'm trying to fill in, so I'm going to try to use this to actually place some of the epoxy uh, inside the hole. I have a little tub of water to help with the uh, wet sand, and then just nice blue shop towels. With that, uh, the only other thing that I'm going to be using is I will use some blue painter's tape to tape off the areas. Uh, that will help me kind of contain um, the epoxy itself and not, not get it um, all over the tub surround and then also help with sanding. So um, I'm ready to jump in here. So I'm going to break that epoxy and start mixing it up. Taking the painter's tape, what I want to do here is section off just the area that I want to put the epoxy on. Two things, this kind of helps to contain uh, the epoxy because it will run and then also it will help when you're sanding with the 60 grit to protect the surround. So now you take the two parts and you press from the bottom to open up the passage between the two and then you want to mix this for about 45 seconds to a minute back and forth making sure you have a complete mix and then because mine is the almond tub surround, I'm going to add uh, the almond color to the epoxy and place it in the screw holes. 
So it's not perfect here, but I gotta, I wanna try to get some of the epoxy down in there. And then I'll take the brush and go back through and put the majority of the epoxy on top. So you want to spread this out and build it up so you have a little extra. Because as, as we talked at the start, we have the Ziploc bag or the plastic that we'll put over the top to help smooth it out. And there's the plastic. You'll want to tap on it and get all the air bubbles out. And then this will help you smooth it out and make your sanding much easier later on.
All right guys, so we finished it off here. I'm all done. Actually, this was the last step in removing a glass door and frame from our fiberglass tub surround. So I had um, a total of, actually it was 12 screw holes uh, in six different locations. For whatever reason, they uh, had two at each of the one locations on the rail. Uh, and the DEF CON kit, I was pleasantly surprised with. I uh, was not expecting much in terms of especially trying to match an almond finish uh, in something that's been in the house for years and years, just thinking that it would discolor and then trying to match that super challenging. Uh, and then also getting that flush finish where you couldn't just uh, easily see where those holes were at. Um, but I'm happy. I'm happy with the end product. Um, we're going to put a curtain rod up uh, as expected. And I think with, with that, it's uh, going to be barely, barely noticeable. So if you like these sort of videos, hopefully this one helped you out. We have a bunch more out there. So go ahead and subscribe to our channel and we'll catch you on the next one. See ya.